Welcome back to another video. Today we're breaking down a small passion project that is not out yet, but we're gonna break it down anyways, and hopefully that gives me some motivation to finish the edit. So me and Eden spontaneously joined a stills production to create a little video. Two or three days, I think it was, um, before the shoot was actually happening. So we quickly made a little story and um, made a little shot list and tried to shoot something nice because we want more fashion in our portfolio. So we didn't get any money for this. We even spent a little bit of money to rent out some lights. We were using our own cameras, lenses, um, and it was also just the two of us. So that meant we were doing our own lighting, grip, focus pulling, all of these things that in bigger productions you have people helping you with that. Um, this time it was only the two of us, which is always kind of nice, but it's also very challenging. I was taking on more of the um, director and gaffer roles and Eden was on the camera um, shooting. So in terms of gear, we were shooting on the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro and the lenses we were shooting on were the Canon 100mm macro lens, the Tokina 28-70 to and the Zenital 16mm lens. But now let's move on to the actual shooting and break down the scenes. So for the opening shot, we're set up on a dolly and we're doing this movement from right to left. We're starting off with the foreground, then we're um, going into the phone and then moving across the bed until we reveal our main character. In the storyline, we're hearing her lover or husband on the phone. That's the first thing we hear um, right when the shot starts. So we're sort of like revealing um, the phone and he's speaking and only then we get to see her and her reaction. So this shot is not only because it looks nice, but it actually serves the story. In terms of the composition, we're using the Zenithar 16mm lens and that just gives us this big uh, wide perspective. It's really distorted and that also lines up well with the story because our character is feeling some emotional pain and discomfort, so this distortion really helps reflect that. Not only that, but it just helps emphasize the movement of the camera. As we're moving from right to left, um, because of the perspective and this distortion that's happening, um, you can see it especially on the bed um, and the walls. It really emphasizes and um, really makes the shot much more interesting and it creates a lot of depth um, because we're really close to our subject and to the bed. In terms of lighting, we have one Falcon Eyes LED light just above our talent and above the bed. And because the room is really small, there's honestly not much else you can do. We also have a grid and the softbox um, on the Falcon Eyes light just to block and concentrate the light as much as possible. The room's really small, all of the walls are white. So if you're just gonna let all of the lights spill, everything's just gonna be flat. So you really wanna be intentional with the light and really control it as much as you can. And a grid helps a lot with that. Um, if you can put on a skirt on the light, that's also wonderful. And using such a light LED mat like the Falcon Eyes um, is super helpful because you can easily move it around um, have it on a stand above people and like you don't have to worry because it's so light so it's just really flexible and convenient um, especially when you're walking in tight spaces so if you only have to use one light or like, two lights um, in a similar situation I would definitely recommend going for an LED mat um, such as the Falcon Eyes there's a lot of other bands as well obviously and just another small detail that we have is the practical light in the background, just adding a little bit more of an interest. So that's always nice if you can do something like that. In this second scene, we're in the bathroom and that is even smaller than the previous room. So what I did is I just stuck the light stand with the Falcon eyes over on the left of frame um, in the shower and that's also pretty much the only place where I could fit it. The light is really directional and we are shooting from the shadow side um, so that's the most important thing and we're getting some really nice light which is soft but not too soft. I think it's just the right balance between soft and hard light. There's also probably, if I recall correctly, um, some light coming through the door. I think I think it was transparent or like semi transparent But I think some light is also coming from there. So that's the um, opposite side to our key light 
with using a macro lens on these shots, which really helps us concentrate on all of the little expressions um, of our model, which is again serving the story. And for these last shots or this last um, scene or scenario, um, honestly, we were really running out of time. The models had to go in like a few minutes. So I just set up the falcon eyes there on the stand um, on one side of the, of the scene. And that's honestly all I could do with the time we had. Um, didn't turn out that bad. Did create a bit of a hard light uh, because the falcon eyes is a pretty small source, um, especially compared to these shots, which uh, some of them were wider and like some of them were two shots. So a small source creates a hard light. But I do think it still works quite okay because we did go for a bit of a dramatic feel um, to the whole piece. So I can't tell you that this is like the most beautifully lit scene ever, but given the limitations of the time, um, I think it's not too bad. Two good things we did in this production and I'm just saying them now randomly because I'm not sure where they fit in the video. So I'm just gonna say them now. Is uh, one, we used an iPad and on there we had the script, we had all of the shooting, um, some references and that was really helpful and really nice to work with. Not only for ourselves, but also to show um, the actors or the models, what the story was, um, what the vibe was, and just to communicate the story to them because they had no idea we joined the production last minute. Um, so on the day, we just showed them some things on the iPad and they could quickly understand uh, what we wanted to get. Um, and again, it was also really helpful, obviously, um, for us. And the second thing is we monitored everything in black and white because we decided the final film would be in black and white. So seeing everything in black and white while shooting and not only after uh, in post-production uh, was really helpful, especially in terms of lighting. So that's all I have for you for this video. Um, this was just some small production that we did. Um, sometimes I have bigger productions, sometimes I have smaller ones. And I really think, although the bigger ones are, you know, more interesting, more exciting, there's a lot to be learned from the smaller ones. And a lot of the work I have is small productions at the moment. Um, hopefully I'm gonna have bigger productions uh, more often, so you guys can also see more of that. But yeah, like I said, hopefully it was helpful. Um, if you want to connect, if you want to talk to me, message me, um, see what I'm doing daily, behind the scenes, uh, that kind of stuff, then make sure you follow me at Yuval896 over on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also consider subscribing for more of these videos. I'm trying to post every two weeks now. It's not easy, I have to tell you. But as long as I have productions to break down and give value to you guys, um, I'm gonna continue trying to do that. So thank you for watching this video um, and hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one.